All right, dingers, we have bought another project. Oh yes, we have. This time it is a Suzuki 250 Quad Runner. Oh yes, 1988. I know, it's old, but it's amazing. Let's show you why. So this 35 year old beauty, oh yes, this is like the innovation of ATVs. Suzuki were the first people to bring out a four wheeler in the first place, but this was the next level. And the main reason on here is what's on the back there, Max? Independent rear suspension. Yeah, independent rear suspension on the back, which was way before its time. And main manufacturers really didn't really introduce this properly until like the early 2000s. So that is pretty cool on the back. What's your favorite bit, Maxie? The BKT wide tires. Yeah, look how wide those tires are on the back. I like flotation tires. Amazing. I'm not sure what the engine is because you fit your lunchbox in between there. But no, there she is in the back there, look. Pretty cool. Manual gearbox. Everything as you'd expect on it. The seat isn't too bad a condition for 35 years old. Need to find some sort of matching blue tape for that. You've got to keep it blue because that's just cool. On the front, we are missing a panel on the front, but we've got an idea to cover that, which we'll divulge later on. Pretty cool on the front. Look at that. I reckon some nice LED spots on the front. But Maxi, what have we got on the top here then? On the controls, because this is another innovation, innovation, isn't it? Talk them through, Dale. So we've got high, and then we've got low, and then we've also got super low there. Super low. Yeah, I've never known a, another quad with super low. So high range, low range, and super low. Yeah, what else have we got? We've got reverse there, nice and easy. Yeah, that's easier than getting all fiddly about up here on the side, isn't it? All right, and then what have we got over here? Then we've got four wheel drive. Yeah. And then diff lock at the Diff lock. So again, the first ATV to ever have diff lock, and it's only ever done, right? Which one are we looking at? The top one, 783.9 miles. What? That is nothing, and that works. So we've had this quad running before, and it worked okay, Max, didn't it? Yeah. But it wasn't great, it kept cutting out and spluttering. So I got our main workshops to have a quick look at it, and they were like, yeah, no, the carb needs replacing. So we're going to get into the workshop again today and replace the carb and have a look and see what else is going on. Ready? Yeah. Right, so it's in the workshop. Now it's time to strip it apart, hopefully put the new carb brasher on, and then hopefully, fingers crossed, it starts. Let's do it. Right, so Molly, what does it do at the moment? Does it start? Go on, keep pressing it. Does it start? No. Uh, do we need to repair it? Okay. Right, so that's the old carb out. I say old car, but it wasn't that old actually. It had been replaced at some point, but we're replacing it. So it's out now, I'm gonna put the new one in. So here, I've actually just had to drill out this hole here because it's threaded and the wrong size for the throttle cable to go and sit inside. Cause the throttle cable comes down here and pulls on the throttle body, which is there. Probably can't just turn it with my finger, there we go. That moves there like that. And then where this goes into the choke, so the choke goes in there, unscrew this one, you get a new one of these. But this one was again was threaded, so we've had to drill out the collar on there to be able to fit in there. So now we should be able to put it in. That's the new carburetor in. Before we connect everything else up, we'll see if it runs. Sounds lazy. Right now, I'm trying to do that. 
check out, man. Yeah, because this plastics have got a few splits in them, so I thought, well, rather than making them worse, we'll um, get that sorted. Got it, Maxi, start it up. Yeah! Let it take over. Nice. Cool, happy with that? Right, am I testing it first? Yeah. You want me to test it first? Yeah. <laughs> I was expecting you to say no. You can test it first, dude. Go on then, on you go. Right, so we've run out of fuel so obviously there's only one option because this bike isn't going to get that used that much so the sensible thing is to use aspen so that we know the fuel is always going to be fresh so you know if you've got machines which don't get used that often or you just want to run the best in them then choose aspen oh yeah barney stop eating the quad bike Oh yeah, road trip in the Sammy. Yep, we're going on a road trip to pick up a trailer. Let's go. It's a bit whiny on the road. Right, so I just got back from my road trip where I went to my parents to pick up an old trailer that I bought like 15 years ago for 20 quid and put a new floor on it. And I completely forgot to film anything while I was there, while I was hitching it up and everything. So, you know, great. But I'm now back. Yes, it's just done a 10 mile journey in the Sammy and she is looking great. Look at my trailer. As you can see, yes, it looks like it's 20 quid. So we took the link box because my mum wanted an old garden trailer I had. So I got that for her. So I took that up in the link box, put the link box on the trailer, hitched up the trailer to the Sammy and drove her home. Yeah, 10 mile trip and she's absolutely brilliant. I was worried about the sanding of the heating because it's not water cooled, it's only air cooled and I've never used anything like that before. So there's no thermostat, no, no temperature gauge in it. So yeah, quite happy that it's just done a 10 mile journey with no issues whatsoever. But yes, I picked up a trailer finally and it is old and terrible, but it's a trailer. Got someone else to put behind the Sammy now. So well happy about that. Use it for lots of different things and got the link box on the back. So we'll have to get that off with the Manitou and put that back where it needs to be. And also, also went and picked up something else this morning, which is the pallet forks for the Manitou. So obviously, yes, it's got pallet forks on it already, but I bought these secondhand because we are gonna put a headstock on the front of the Manitou. So now we've got a pallet forks, we can now weld the headstock on so that we can clip them on and off. And then we can get a bucket for the Manitou. So then we can just scoop up stuff and move stuff easier and everything. But no, well happy with the Sammy. The Suzuki, I'm, I'm nearly there. I'm, I'm sort of happy with it. It's done 
well we've you know max can drive it around absolutely fine that's not a problem um but when it comes to um putting me on it it seems to be a bit spluttery still so i think it's something to do that fuel pump so i'm gonna have a little bit more of a fiddle with that and then we can set that up as our full-time sort of filming quad um and max can drive it and molly can drive it and things like that as well so it'll be good but cool look at the trailer anyway thank you very much for watching we'll see you in the next one cheerio bye